All right, so what I decided to do first was to cut my paper and to the sizes that I needed because I don't want to put a whole sheet on here because I learned that when you do that, it tends to take out the stickiness. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut all the colors that I chose, which I actually chose from the jewel package and the Recollections jewels. I already cut a piece of this one and I chose this one as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them in halves so I can set them on the, on the cutting mat. And what I'm cutting them now is I'm cutting them the long way. I'm cutting them um, four and a quarter. And I'm putting this one aside because I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do later on is I'm gonna cut like strips and kind of use them as borders to decorate. I got that off of um, one of the videos that I saw. And I, um, I'll probably post who was it that I got that idea from later. So, you know, you get two pieces, see? So one I'll be able to use to cut out my, my design and the other one I can use for the uh, photo frame. And usually, you know, photo frames are like um, uh, certain sizes, but right now, um, just for the purpose of creating the video, I'm just going to go ahead and cut them in halves. You know, since this is my first, you know, tutorial, uh, the first video that I did on YouTube. You know, I didn't really guide you through anything. I just w was talking about what I already had done. And so I didn't walk you through and show you how I did it. Um, so since this one, I didn't um, pre-design it. I usually like to, in my Cricut uh, craft room software, that you get for free um, for your computer. I usually design my my projects there first before I cut anything. So like that, I know in advance all the colors I'm going to use and um, the sizes and you know if it's going to be a card, if it's going to be a layout, whatever all that stuff so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut these and these are four and a quarter so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these uh, just a quarter of an inch on all of them so I can have uh, some strips to, to play around with later and you know sometimes when uh, your yeah, blade gets dull I tend to try to run it through to kind of get it out because what happens is, is sometimes you think that the blade is dull but it's not it's just that there's like some residue caught up in there and it'll do that to your paper kind of shred it up a bit but I'm, I'm actually gonna still use it like this because sometimes you know you don't want it to be perfect you know so we're gonna get go ahead and uh, cut these at quarter inch. And if you notice with this one, when I cleaned it up, it didn't do the same. It came out cleaner. Well, actually not that perfect, but cleaner that means because there's still some debris in there. Um, gonna try to keep things organized because my space for crafting is my computer desk and I don't have a crafting room. I don't have enough rooms in my apartment to have my own crafting room 
And I would love to move to a home where I can have my own crafting room and I can turn it into my own studio and, you know, have my cameras and all the angles needed so that I can, you know, just have fun with it, you know? And it would be so much easier. Um, so by the looks of this layout, it's going to be very colorful. And at the same time, this is also a technique that I learned online, online as well. One of the uh, um, guest designers that was on my pink stamper, uh, I think it was yesterday's post, if I'm not mistaken, or today's post. Um, her, her theme for her creations was rainbow. And so if you look at these colors here, you know, very very much rainbow like you know so I guess we'll be using that as well when I paused the video I went and I uh, got some more paper that I wanted to use because I wanted to give the uh, frog a little texture and so I don't know if you noticed and I had a package earlier and um, it was from Recollections. And uh, this one is a Kartek star paper. And it says, the bright and the basic pad. And even though that this is kind of girlyish, I was able to find some colors in there that would apply to our project. And I do apologize for the noise. I do live in the projects and the bus stop is right in front of my building. And I live to the front, so we're gonna get a lot of traffic noise. So here's one of the pages that I found. And I'm gonna use this one. I think I'm gonna use this one for the frog, for the frog's body. And use this one for the, um, the firefly. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And then what I wanted to do, instead of using your uh, black to do the, the shadow for the, the items, I figured I can go ahead and use um, the green. You know, see how that turns out, All right? So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here now that we have all our paper cut out and then I'm gonna set up my camera so that we can watch the cutting get done be right back 